Hey guys, Sobergardner here. Just thought I'd do a segment on testing soil pH. Why am I doing this? Well, my dog Kirby dug up my avocado tree, a house avocado tree, if you've seen my other video. He didn't really dig it up, but he dug around the root system. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why the tree slowly died over three to four months. Now, to rule out the soil, because the only other possible explanation would be the soil, I've got a soil pH test kit. Got this from Bunnings, haven't done it before. So we should go from acidic, on this kit anyway, acidic three and alkaline up to 10. And now you want sort of a 6.57 for neutral, more, more of a seven. Why do we want that? Well, that's when the plants are gonna do best. Plants vary, some plants like more acidic, some like more alkaline, but usually you're looking for a neutral pH reading. Um, so anyway, this kit apparently lets you do 100. All right, so this is by Manutech, and I'm just gonna go out and get the dirt or soil, bring it back in here, and we'll do the test together. See you soon. All right, so I thought I'd show you actually getting the soil. It might be beneficial. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some of the top of the soil here. So that should be enough. And then I'm just gonna dig down a little bit further. And get some of this deeper soil as well. I don't think it'll really make a difference. But let's find out. All right, I'll bring that with me and let's go back inside and do the test. All right, so here we are back inside. I'll just open this up. All right, I've heard to keep this out of the sun as well. All these, this will fade very easily, this chart. Okay, so we've got the dye indicator. So this is the first thing we're gonna put on the soil. And then straight after that, this is the powder. This is what's gonna make the soil change to one of the colors on this chart here. So let's go ahead and do that. So it looks like this is to place the soil on. Now we don't want any organic matter in this soil when we do the test. So we'll just tip. It doesn't look like there's any sort of compost or fertilizer in this soil. So that looks all right. So we want to open this up. Looks like it's childproof. And we're gonna pour a little bit of this on the soil. I don't think it really needs too much. Once you use too much, you're not gonna get 100 uses, and then you're gonna use this stick here just to make sort of a, a paste. We might need a bit more. Yeah, that's better. So when it gets a little bit pasty, that should be enough. Oh, I can smell that. All right, so now we're just gonna simply get this powder, open it up. Take the lid off. Wasn't coming out very well. Anyway, we've got the powder on there. That should be enough. And we just simply wait. 
So let's bring over our chart. And is this slowly turning a different color? Looks like it's still gray to me. Don't see any colorization in there so far. I don't know how long it's meant to take. All right, let me just skip ahead for you and we'll see if it is a different color. So finally got a decent reading and it looks from this test, it's between five and seven. And if we zoom in and have a look, yeah, some of it looks like a lighty green, some looks dark. If I had to put a number on it, I would say it would be six. Now, avocado trees like between five and seven, slightly acidic, not too acidic. So anywhere between five and seven is perfect. So that means the soil wasn't responsible for slowly killing my Haas avocado tree. I would say definitely it was my dog digging up the roots that caused it to die slowly. It never recovered. He might have actually even got the tap root. So um, I'm going to now plant a new one in the middle of summer, but I have constructed some shade cloth around to protect it for, from the afternoon sun and there's plenty of trees protecting it.